so we'll just play a game here. Oh, we're waiting for people to file in. Just hanging out. Playing some some NHL 08. Just just hanging around. We're here in Edmonton, Alberta. Get comfortable, this could get a little hairy tonight. I'm Jim Houston with Craig Simpson. Up next, a wild one between the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. Passed ahead to Horcock. Probably going to drop some Horkoff. flames here, just as my computer is. Not the best at dying sometimes. Both the game we'll and the for streaming at the same Edmonton time. But it, it'll try its best. Well, we haven't seen the power play yet tonight, but we know they're going to be a handful. They've got great skill on that first unit. To Pitkin and he shoots! QA covers up! First of all, QA We're is probably going to be a problem here. So. Face off one by Plakanich. He I... carries it to center. There's something that I should probably point out here with this Edmonton roster, which is a little, a little weird. Uh, it, the fourth line is uh, very strange. Like, Dennis Grebishkov is on it, on the wing. Uh, there is no uh, Sam Gagne. Sam Gagne doesn't exist in this game, which is... Sure. I... I mean, he's he's not drafted yet, I don't think. Well, I mean, he would have been drafted. He's probably not signed to his uh, to his ELC. So it's just, it's just good old no Sam, no, uh, no Cogliano is actually the weirder one because he is, like, I would think he would have to be signed to his ELC at this point, you know? Like... But you know, so we're we're just trying to deal with the same same old gang here. They do have, and I'm pretty sure he was a he was a free agent signing at at this time. So they have picking in. It's it it has to be the ELCs, I guess, and because there's no, I obviously can't really update the the rosters for a game that for a game that came out in 2007. So. So it's a, it's a little weird. Dwayne Rollison is the is the key to this Oilers team. By the way, uh, he is a 92 overall, even in in 2008, 2007, which is probably a little high, given where he should be at. But yeah. I'll probably just play like a period of this and then we can get get cracking into something else. But yeah, if you guys have any any questions, any thoughts, or opinions or anything, just just let me know because I'm just kind of there's Grabishkova's forward. There he is. He's an 81 overall. The 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 people at EA really believe in Dennis Grabishkov at this point. Marty Reisner, who. I don't think I talked about Marty Reisner for a second in in my series at all. Like he's pretty good. Oh, also, uh, that's Fernando Pisani, fourth line center Fernando Pisani. Who I has Fernando Pisani played center ever? I I don't I don't think. And Matt Green, of course. Matt Green, not. Uh, peak of his powers, Matt Green, by any by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, they're really high on on Horkoff. They're really high. Oh yeah, Peter Nedved, who played I don't know something like nine games with the Oilers. Dick Tarnstrom's the same way. He played like a handful of games with the Oilers, but they're they're cornerstones on this team. Uh, Dick Tarnstrom's. Uh, like an 82 or three, they're they're really stuck on 2004 Dick Tarnstrom, who was in a somebody has to score the goals situation with the with the very 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 bad uh, Penguins. But 
Oh, there's there's McTavish. They, that is something that they're missing in the current NHL games because they don't they don't have the coaches. Like, there we go, Ethan Morrow. Is he the captain yet? No. But and then they play some in Berlin. We gotta we gotta love it here, folks. Who else would be the captain if not Ethan Moore? Am I losing that now? Yeah, because uh, Gator's gone. Smith. Let me see. There's there's Michael Ryder. Who we've everybody loves Michael Ryder. Michael Ryder. I I mentioned this in a comment, but when I was I don't know eight, he boarded Daryl Sador in a game between the Canadians and Penguins. He just crushed Daryl Sador from behind, and I have never forgiven him. Uh, I I irrationally hated Michael Ryder for a long amount of time, and I found out later that, like, nobody has this strong of opinions against Michael Ryder. Oh, it's... Back when the default was you switch, you switch sides of the ice every period, as opposed to now you got the always up. But now he might be scoring on me, but I can't, I can't hate on Saku. You know, everybody loves Saku. He's cool. Does if do I push down to shoot now? Yes. Jarrett Stoll. They do, I think, have the correct goal horn for the Oilers. Because I was playing another game earlier, and it was like, this is, this is not the right goal. They're playing like a fire alarm for, I forget who I was playing as. I think it might have been the Sabres. Because the Sabres are extremely good in this game, even though they didn't, they didn't even make the playoffs in 08. But they are like a f wagon in this in this game because the game really loves the Talinder Ludman pairing for some reason. Saku's Saku's terrorizing us right now. Ethan, you might not have the C yet, but you have it. You have it IRL. IRL Ethan Morrow has the C. If I learn the button to body check, that'd be cool. Because right now I am diving around trying to break stuff up. You know, that's all on me. That's all on me. I, I shouldn't have thrown the drop pass back. Alex Kovalev in... Alex Kovalev, like, definitively passed his prime at this point with the Canadiens, but still a really, like, weirdly good player. He's going to get dealt to the Penguins in, like, his last... In, I'm trying to think, 2012, I think, he's going to get dealt to the Penguins for a seventh or something. And he, it's like a great reunion for Penguins fans and all that, but he's, I mean, it's, it's not Alex Kovalev, you know? But he played for a really long time and was pretty effective because he's one of those players that didn't rely that much on his legs because he's such a skill guy. Vladislav Smeed, I think, is one of the better he has like a 90 potential or something. There's there's a lot of belief in Laddie Smade here from the Oilers faithful. Good try, work off. See, the, the goalie helmets in this game look... Uh, they and they still do this to a certain extent where they don't really care about about the goalie helmets but in this game they're particularly like generic pro shop deal you know right. 
so. Good try, Lonnie. Alright, I think we I think we get the point of of the Oiler deal. We're gonna spiritually we're gonna we're gonna say that I pulled that one out. I was I was out shooting them. I'm trying to there's a lot of weird guys in like the the in-between screens, like I mean obviously I think that's Penner on the on the home screen scoring on Emery and Chris Phillips. I can't see super super well, but I'm pretty sure that's Penner. And then of course Yags. But there's <laughs> on the main loading screen for this game, at least the PlayStation 2 and PC version, there's uh Bruno Gervais is like a cornerstone and he is not like a is a pretty low overall guy even in the game so here we'll go through some rosters here if anybody has any rosters that they feel like seeing from nhl 2008 let me know but i'm gonna quick kick the game into turbo real quick here because otherwise it takes forever to navigate the rosters but yeah so we'll go to the oilers we'll go to the teams that i've covered real quick so we'll touch on our friends here at buffalo Man, they are high on Jokin Hesht. Like an eighty, anything over an eighty-five in this game is really, really good. So Jokin Hesht, they're big on Tim Con Tim Connolly. But the wild one to me, and he's buried in here. Yeah, there he is. Is Alish Kotalik at an eighty-seven? Alish Kotalik is a guy that I really like. I have always really liked Alish Kotalik. Like he's a good two-way forward. Um, 95 speed for Alex Kotalik. Like he was, he was fast. He also has a 92 potential, but I think he's like, uh, I'd have to move my, myself here. Yeah, yeah. He's a 28. He's 28 years old. So I, I don't know how much how, how much better Alex Kotalik is getting at this point. And he's coming off a season where he had, uh, 38 points. Like, uh, and. The, the people at EA are like, yeah, pull the trigger on Alish Kotalik as an 87 overall. That has always been perplexing to me because when I played this game as a kid, I always thought, oh, Alish Kotalik is like the cornerstone of the Buffalo Sabres. Like, it's it's Maxifinaganov and Alish Kotalik. And, like, uh, Maxifinaganov is not the best player on this team. Uh, and then Henrik Talinder... And holy crap, dude. Teppo... This whole defense is... Like... I love Brian Campbell. Brian Campbell absolutely deserves an 86. Probably deserves higher. Uh, Dimitri Kalinin, who is pretty close to getting over the hill here. And Teppo Newmanen, who is like closing in on 40. And Yaro Spachek was... A bit of a bust with the with the Sabers. Tony Ludman at an 87 overall for what? For what, man? It, Tony Ludman a 99 deking? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tony Ludman. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? I cannot. I. That, that's very funny and he has an 81 checking which is something that he was like pretty good at uh 99 speed for tony ludman Wh what i i don't know man this is a 19 point defenseman like i love tony ludman i think he was really important to those teams that went to the conference final He's, he's a pretty underrated guy, but frankly, I'm not sure that he's a 95 speed guy. Ryan Miller, only an 87. He's kind of criminally underrated here. What? Man, oh man. Here, we'll go to the, we'll go to the Oilers real quick. Because they have some, their rankings make a little bit more sense, like, I don't know if it's just the Canadian bias or whatever. Like, they're paying more attention to the Canadian teams. Like, Rafi Torres is an 82. Absolutely, sure. Like, uh, Sean Horkoff at an 85 at this point. Alex Shamsky, 86. Sure. Jarrett Stoll. 
Jeff Sanderson, not an 81 at this point. He is uh, old as dirt. Ethan Morrow. Yeah, that's that's an 81 overall player, sure. Marty Reisner, 79. Fernando Pisani, 82. Grabishkov, 81. Like I said, they have a lot of belief in Dennis Grabishkov. Uh, Patrick Thorison, who I don't think played a ton. Same with Nedved. Stortini is... This should probably more aptly be the fourth line with Stortini. But they also don't... There is one scratch guy on this entire roster, and it's Matthew Waugh, which, sure, I guess. Uh, Steve Steos, 81. Yoni Pitkinen. Oh, forever criminally underrated Yoni Pitkinen. We love Yoni Pitkinen. Uh, yeah, Yoni Pitkinen at this point, I hate to say it, Dick Tarnstrom. Yoni Pitkinen is better than friggin' Dick Tarnstrom. And... Uh, Matt Green, Laddie Smead, and uh, uh, Charnquist. But it's the goaltending. It's it's Dwayne Rollison, which if we look into his his stats, yeah, he doesn't have any like maxed out ninety nines. I do like that on the uh, consistency scale, which is just if you've ever created a character in NHL, you know it's it's zero one two. Do I know what it means? I do not know. But <laughs> I I do like that his consistency is a zero, which seems kind of cruel. And also, I love that his potential is a 94 at 37 years old. Like, this 92 overall goaltender who is 37, they're like, yeah, no, he's probably <laughs> he's probably going to get better. I don't think so. I have a, I have a feeling that... I have a feeling that he's not. And like, yeah, he's really good. He's coming off a really nice season where he lost 40 freaking games, dude. Like, a 908 save. I love, they write the save percentage like it's a hockey card from 1973. Like, ah, the save percentage. It's like, no, man, you write it like you write batting average, my friend. I just say, we love that. They're stopping the puck, see. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. Glad, glad to have you guys hanging out as we as we file through uh, the old NHL lineups. Ilya Brizgalov was my guy in this game. I always... So when you create a team, you have to take... Like it is now, you have to take guys off of other rosters, which is different than how it was in the other hockey game I played before this, which was NHL 2002, because then when you created a team, it just duplicated the players onto the created team. So here, I was left to, like, scrounge for scraps off of... I took Brizgalov, and because I didn't feel bad because he was the Ducks' backup goalie, so they didn't need him. But then I would always go to the the custom teams there's Jonas Hiller by the way hanging out for the quote unquote custom team HC Davos which I was shocked to find out was real uh, that was an interesting an interesting revelation for me but sh the the teams for other countries ratings in this game are psychotic this is yes this is Alexander Day. <laughs> It, the 89 overall sniper for HC Davos is Alexander Daig, and the 83 overall is uh, Reto von Arks, who was a like good player in the in the Swiss League for a long time, but he's just a guy. But yeah, Jonas Hiller and Alexander Daig is the is the funny one for me. When was the last time? I wonder if they have his NHL stats. Because he's still... He's not, like, super old at this point. Yeah, he's only 32. Yeah, picked first overall. He's making 4.6 million. Much respect to, to Dag. But he's got all the skill in the world, all the all the skating, and they're like... Oh, and a 90 checking. The Alexander Dag. When I think of Alexander Dag, I think of the, the spirit of the game, truly. The, the spirit of the game. But he has the potential to... He has the potential to go down to a 60. Like, oh yeah, Alexander Dag. Right after 2008 is when Alexander Dag's career is really going to fall apart. 90 on face-offs for 
Yeah, 95 hero rating. He he's a legend. He's gonna Alex Alex Dig is gonna is gonna carry this team. Uh let's look at some other there's some other so there was one foreign team, and I will I uh, you'll understand why I'm talking about them once I bring them up. That I played all the time for no real for no real reason other than the fact that their their logo looked really cool because it's this knight and it was hbk Ham and lena now you probably notice one very specific name here from this team and that is Vili leno who by the end of this season is going to sign with uh detroit and go on their like cup run with him and then i think he plays another season in detroit then he plays his season with the flyers and then he gets his like horrific contract the potential is uh, uh, is unreal yeah dude though the potential for billy leno 92 overall they have faith in billy leno and he's not that young yeah 23 at this point billy leno like i and so when he got signed that season to detroit and i will full disclosure i am a he got signed the next season by detroit because I, I cared about him getting signed by Detroit. Because I am, at full disclosure, sorry to break anybody's hearts. Uh, if you didn't know this, I, I am a Penguins fan. I grew up in central Pennsylvania. I still live in the state. I live closer to Philadelphia now. But I am a Penguins fan, grew up a Penguins fan. And uh, obviously, following 2008, I hated the Detroit Red Wings. So when Billy Leno, the guy that I had fallen in love with, based on uh, NHL 2008 signed with the Detroit Red Wings it truly hurt me like it 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 did damage to me i was like no this is this is the guy that we're supposed to believe in dad's a flyers fan my brother's a wings fan and i'm a sabers fan so <laughs> yeah dude villy is the villy's the center to to everything i uh, listen he had a really good season with the Flyers team. Seemingly, like, and he had been, he was a really good player in Liga from all that I understand, but I, let's go Red Wings. Yeah, dude, I have no ill will toward the Red Wings anymore, but boy, in, in 2000, in 2009, when I was, I don't know, I had 10, I, <laughs> I really hated, I really hated those Red Wings teams. They were, ugh. Never had an experience like that as a Preds Habs fan. The worst was the worst I've had was Suter. Yeah, right. Oh, in the Preds Hab. Oh, well, you. Yeah, sorry. I thought about uh, the understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, man. But I thought about uh, with the with the Preds Habs. That always makes me think of, and it shouldn't because it had nothing to do with the Habs is the uh the offer sheet to shea weber which was of course the flyers but it gave shea weber that wacky contract that he had for a really long time there's a uh, center of team kajikstan nick antropov here we'll go through we'll bring up the red wings because they're really good at this point or, or at least they should be because they're about to win, they're about to win the stanley cup so we'll file through the red wings real quick Detroit Red Wings. Yeah, of course. Zetterberg, 88. Dotsuk, 89. Yeah, sure. But they... This is... Johan Franzen at an 80 is probably part of why the Preds traded him. Yeah, I think it, it genuinely is because they traded for... They... That trade, I remember at the time, I guess it's not been that long ago. It, it's crazy that Subban has run his entire Predators career and now since retired since that trade. But I remember vaguely at the time it being like, oh, wow, they they completely walked the the Canadians in that trade. Like it's a huge win for the for the Predators. And Subban was really good for them, but I Shea Weber, much respect to Shea Weber. I love I really good player for a really long time yeah Zetterberg Datsu Holmstrom is unfair Holmstrom Holmstrom I remember being a, a menace in this game he was 
and was a menace in real life, a really good underrated player. Johan Franzen's a criminally underrated here. I don't, they probably gave him like a two speed. No, his speed, <laughs> Johan Franzen, famously his best attribute is his speed. Oh, I guess in his checking. I do love the, the category of, the categories, how they break it down. It's skill and skating. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I, I got you on skill and skating. Then they have spirit. Yeah, of course, the, the spirit of the game. He's got his hero rating and his checking and toughness, blah, blah. Uh, then his hockey sense, which is his overall <laughs> and potential, is his hockey sense. Yeah, grit and sand favor. He, he, I love Johan Franz and truly a much better, if you, I tried to talk pretty positively about him in, uh, the, the Blue Jackets, the Blue Jackets video, because Franzen just eats their lunch throughout that series. He, they can't do anything to, to stop him. I guess he's coming off a kind of weak season. This is his playoff stats. I'm trying to bring back his, <sighs> this game's a little slow to navigate. All right. Come on. He feels superhuman. That's his comments on his morale. Yeah, he's coming off a 30-point season. That's, that's a little... Oh, and he's coming off a pretty bad 2006. I guess he... How old is he here? He's 27. I guess he doesn't really... He was an undrafted guy, so he doesn't really step into his own until a little later. Yeah, we'll grab the rest of that Detroit lineup. Because they're... Their defense is mostly Lidstrom and Cronwall. Like, I, I don't think Cronwall is... Like, what you would think of Cronwall being yet at this point. Danny Markov. All right. Brett Bre Lebda. Brian Rafalski. Brian Rafalski, another criminally underrated player. Andreas Ligia. Lilja. Chris Chelios at 83. Yeah, I think he is... He's 44? 45? Yeah. He's uh, old as dirt, man. He is, he is uh, well past. He's, they did appropriately put his speed at 79, but his potential is also at 79. He is, he ain't slowing down. You better believe in Chris Chelios, man. Yeah, I'm draft year 1981. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that he was drafted uh, six years before Crosby was born. Playing this for the past few months on my PS2. Yeah, this is the PS2 version, which is the same as... Uh, yeah, while we're talking Red Wings, quick shout out to the Mike Show Me Your Camera Roll Babcock. Yeah, also Mike kick Johan Franzen in the back of the head. What a jerk. That guy sucks, man. Tell the thrashers he's old, I dare you. Yeah, he is... Uh, yeah, he's going to sign with the Thrashers after this. He's... I don't know. The Thrashers are pretty good in this game because they have Kovalchuk and they have Hosa. Which... And they have Pascal Dupuy. And I love I love me some Pascal Dupuy, man. But, yeah, Vic... Oh, it's Slava. It's not Victor. I always, I always think it's Victor Kozlov, the big Russian. But it's the little Russian. What's it? Alexei Zhitnik. Didn't have my. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's, they they were a really good team in in that two thousand nine in that two thousand nine series because. Yeah, they. Did the Thrashers have Hedberg at this point? I think they do. Yes, they do because he's gonna be on a, a like Cartoon Network commercial. Uh, I don't know why they. Ever, it's I love the Moose man. Johan Hedberg and Kari Kari lets him in, as my dad calls him. But you know that 09 that 09 Red Wings team is probably the better team against that Penguins team. But the the Penguins were getting pretty good. They got pretty good goaltending out of Flurry, and they also have they had much better depth than they had in 2008 because you got like. Jordan Stahl really came into his own, and you had that line of Stahl and Cook and uh, Tyler Kennedy. 
which was I was at game six of that series. That was very fun in Pittsburgh. So the cup was the cup was in the building, but we won it, sent it back to Detroit. It's pretty cool. That's my that's my big I was there hockey moment after after being very sad in 2000, 2008. Let's look at these Blue Jackets. They love Rick Nash, don't we all? Nikolai Zherdev. Nikolai Zherdev's picture, I don't know if you can tell on the screen, is like, his hair is weird and green. I don't know. They just have the worst, like, color correction. Did Nikolai Zherdev, I don't, I don't think Nikolai Zherdev had green hair at any point. I, can't, I didn't find any pictures, though I do love that they have his, like, spirit down completely in the dumps. This is this flashy Russian kid. He's not willing to come out and come out and give it his all. This is flashy Russian. Freaking Nikolai Zhirdev, man. <laughs> it looks like he just caught wild dyeing his hair. Yeah, because his hair looks wet. <laughs> like, his hair is actively damp. They caught him. He's... He's at, he just ran it underneath ran it underneath the water. There's Brian Burrard, pretty good, pretty good. Brian Burrard, Adam Foot, Ronnie Hainsey. Ron Hainsey's got to be like older than you would think at this point because he stayed in the league for a long time. Yeah, he's 26. So yeah, Ron Hainsey, good. I point out a lot of like guys who were on those Penguin Cup teams, but. Yeah, but Boston Bruins have one of my favorite uh, what if guys, which is good old Mark Savard. I love I love Mark Savard, and they also this game really loves Phil Kessel. Uh, very little uh, Masterson Trophy Phil Kessel, and uh, Patrice Bergeron is absurdly good. Like ninety two deking, crazy speed. We love. We love Patrice Bergeron. May his, may his may his career rest in peace. Phil the Thrill. I wonder if they gave Phil the speed that he probably should have, because he could burn, man. Back in the day, he could really motor. Yeah, ninety-two speed. Not as fast as Tony Ludman. <laughs> Tony Ludman, ninety-nine speed. Tony Ludman. Uh, yes, yeah, slap shot. They do appropriately give him a much better wrist shot than he had a slap shot. Dude, they're still using that Bergeron picture in, in 14. Yeah, Bergeron that looks like a kid that needs braces. Like, it's it's a very strange photo of Patrice Bergeron. Yeah, so we got... Who is their goalie? Is it Tim Thomas yet on that Bruins team? File through here. Oh, it's Manny Fernandez! Yeah, Manny Fernandez, who I think he wins the Je he like co wins the Jennings with Thomas in one of Thomas's dozen of years, I think. But that's just off the top of my head. I could be wrong. Glenn Murray, who's got to be kind of old at this point. Let's see any other teams we want to touch on. Then we can. Oh, the Colorado Avalanche have a bunch of. Oh, here's something strange. So if you go into this is something weird I remember about this game. So you go into the EA Sport. <laughs> yeah, Bergeron looks like he chews pencils. Yes, he does. So if you go into the like the free for all mode, you can pick. They have a certain amount of players that you can pick for each team, but the players that they choose are uh, very strange. So you got Timo Solani, Andy McDonald for the Ducks. Okay, sure. Slava Kozlov, Kochakosa. Yeah. Savard, Bergeron. Yeah, sure. Vanek, even though Afinaganov is a 90 and Roy is an 87 as well. Kotalik's an 87 as well. They go with just Vanek, which Vanek is... I, I love Vanek. He's a very exciting player. Tange, Lankow, Aginla. Hus it, there you go. Freaking Christian Husail. You know... When <laughs> when my parents uh, bought this game for me and put it under my Christmas tree when I was when I was uh, nine, they were like, you know, he's really he's really gonna be dying to play as Christian Husail is. It's like, yeah, man, I I can't wait to play as to play as uh, good old Christian Husail is a a underrated player, but I don't 
Like it's Christian Crusalius, man. It's, like, let's be real here. The only guy you can play at as for the Blackhawks is Hablat. S Ryan Smith for the Avalanche. The Avalanche have like 27 guys here. Ryan Smith, Joe Sackick, Milan Hayduke. Yeah, okay. Uh, Andrew Burnett. Uh, okay, man. Uh, then like some teams only have one, which, and here is my homerism yet again. I was also, as a child, I'm not really anymore, but as a child, I liked the Rangers as well. Like I, they were, they were fun. So I liked this iteration of the Rangers particularly. So they have three guys. They have Drury, Straka, Yager. Great. If you go to the Penguins, the Penguins have one guy. They have just Crosby. They, they have Malkin at this point. Like, the Penguins have Evgeny Malkin. They have Peter Sikora, who's, you know... Like, I don't... Listen, I'm not asking for a lot. But put Malkin. Put Malkin in there. You got, you got old man Doug Waite. Old man Doug Waite for a very bad Blues team. Like, Marlowe, Thornton, Chichu, before anybody's caught on that, that he can't move. He moves at a mile and a half per hour. They have Malkin and Hosa. Well, yeah, the Penguins don't have Hosa quite yet. They, that's He's still Thrashers, if that's what you mean. He's still on the Thrashers. Though I did move him... I did move Hosa to the Penguins in my in my game back in the day. They have both Sedins. It'd be very funny if they just had one Sedin. Like, sorry, man, you can only play as Henrik. They, they're the same. They're the same guy. And Michael Nylander. Like, the Capitals are a perfect example, too, because they have... they. This is the not-quite-peak of their powers. Like, they're still up and coming. But th these are the young guns Capitals. These are the, like, fast, fun, very cool Washington Capitals with Ovechkin, Backstrom, Semin, and Mike Green. And they put Ovechkin in Michael Nylander. <laughs> like... Michael Nylander is going to be, is, oh yeah, that's the, that's the Michael Nylander doesn't go to Edmonton contract. That's, Michael Nylander tells Edmonton that he's going to go, and then his wife says, you did, you did what? You signed where? And immediately he's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll sign in Washington now. Let's see, well, I'll do one last look at the Capitals, and then we'll, we'll start like a franchise or something, I think that'd be fun. We'll do... I don't know if we want to do a fantasy draft or not. Here, we'll look at the Capitals. Yeah, Salmon. Okay, I guess there's no Backstrom yet. But they got freaking Brooks Like. How could you sleep on Brooks Like? And famously, the captain of this Capitals team, Chris Clark. And they have Victor Costa. I guess like on Neilander. They should have put Salmon in. Salmon's coming off of. What's the worst team in this game? Uh. Let me, it's easiest to, if I overview the play now, I can, the cap, <laughs> the Capitals are one of the worst. They're an 80, Lightning are an 80, Coyotes are an 80. I think 80 is the worst. So Lightning, Capitals, Coyotes. Yeah. Bruins are an 81, even though they have a ton of really good players. I think their defense is just bad. But yeah, we'll go through the worst teams real quick. We'll go through the Coyotes, Coyotes, Lightning. Capitals, and we went through the Capitals, so we'll touch on the Coyotes and Lightning. So, are they? They're Phoenix at this point. So if I get, I'll have to go around the horn this way, but we'll stop at the Lightning first. Vinny Prospel, the Cavier, San Louis. Yeah, all right, and then they kind of fall apart. Brad Richards and Michelle Willette, pretty good. Ryan Craig. Chris Gratton's kind of over the hill at this point, but I like I like Chris Gratton. You know, or, you can't sleep on Chris Gratton. He was picked really high. Paul Ranger. Paul Ranger is a guy I uh, I remember as being like, oh, Paul Ranger is going to be really good. Like soon, Paul Ranger will be really good. And he never really, never really put it together. Danny Boyle. Dan Boyle, always underrated. You can never. Yeah, Paul Ranger, 2014 Winter Classic. Ra yes, I I like I like Paul Ranger, man. He was he had a nice little career for himself. Philip Kuba. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, Paul. Who? Yeah, man. Uh, Paul Ranger. He was. I, I bet his potential is pretty high. 
in this. Yeah, 84. He's only 22 years old, playing top pairing minutes for the Lightning. Paul Ranger. And I think they have... No, the Bulin Wall's in... Hobby Bulin's in Chicago at this point, I'm thinking about. Him. Had crazy face paint that game. I... Much respect to Paul Ranger. We don't talk about Paul Ranger enough. Oh, boy. Okay, that's why they're horrible. It's damn shame Paul Ranger. I have thought that my whole life, <laughs> that Paul Ranger never played for the Rangers. I thought that was sad. Johan Holmquist, Mark Denis. Johan Holmquist? Yeah, man. Never heard of that guy in my life. Decade of Darkness Part 3. Uh, Decade of Darkness Part 3, I finished the voiceover for it today. I just have to edit the have to edit the audio and then start editing the video. So I'll compile my clips next and then I'll, then I'll cut it all down. So probably I'd love to have it out by not this Monday, but the Monday after is like when I would prefer to have it out. We'll see how it, we'll see how it goes because sometimes I submit it, but Vokun just got traded in 08. Yes, he should be on the Panthers. Yeah, I'll, I'll touch on. We'll hit Florida. Oh, the... Yeah, I forgot that you go over the Flyers and they don't... <laughs> they don't have the... They don't have the proper lineup. Uh, we'll touch on Florida and then we'll go to Phoenix. Yeah, just do the best lines for the Flyers, please. Was that Cujo on... It might have been. Stop it. Coyotes. It is Cujo. Jeez, Cujo. Tough, tough, that tough pick there for Cujo. Cujo and Michael Telquist. Man, could use a Sean Burke right about now. Patrick Fisher. Is he related to Christian Fisher, I wonder? I don't know. Steve Reinprecht. Man, this team. How is this team in 80? This is... Yeah, Cujo... I've no rec zero recollection of Cujo ever being on this team. <laughs> Nico Kapanen, the other Tarnquist, Dan Carcello. Yeah, renowned sniper Dan Dan Carcello. You can't... If, he's he's shooting the lights out. Yeah, their best player is Ed Chovanoski. And Derek Morris, a guy that every trade deadline every, all the teams were all the teams were saying, yeah, we really need a Derek Morris type. We gotta get Derek Morris in the in the fold. Okay, Keith Ballard. Keith Ballard's pretty good at this point. Zevenik McCulloch blocks a ton of shots. Roche Boyton. Yeah, okay. And we'll, we'll hit our friends in Florida. Stop it, stupid Flyers. Anyway, Florida. Olesh. Olesh on the first line. Jokin and peak of his powers. Joseph Stompo before he got old. Stephen Weiss. Stephen Weiss is really good in... I don't know. It might have been a roster update or in 2013. I get, in one of the games that I had as a kid, Stephen Weiss was really, really good. Richard Zednick. Nathan Horton. Nathan Horton's a beast in this game because he's fast as lightning and huge. David Booth. I love David Booth. Anthony Stewart. Peltman. Greg Campbell. You know, break his leg. Jay Bowmeister. Brian Allen. Mike Van Ryan. Mike Van Ryan sneaking his way into more <laughs> more videos than I could have ever expected. Because he snuck his way into the Oilers vid, too. Uh, Steve Montador. Steve Montador, did he... Did he pass away, didn't he? He's one of the guys who like, tragically died, I think. Uh, Thomas Vokun, 88 overall. Yes, so this is... He still has his Preds jersey on, so... This is... This is Thomas Vokun doing his Thomas Vokun thing. He also has a zero in consistency, but... Yeah, and they still have it. They have him on on the way up. An 88... Oh, no, an 88 overall and 85 potential. Going off of... Yes, because he just played in the playoffs the year before, so this is his first season. This is his first season in Florida. He was really good. This is when Chris Mason ran him out of a job. Because Chris Mason had a nice little season for himself. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll throw some, well, I don't know. We want to do, a, we want to make a little dynasty mode here. I think that'd be fun. 
I like how I can do a dynasty mode in like the D E L. I don't. Man, I'm I'm dying to see how the Creffield Penguin pull it out this year. A team that doesn't exist anymore. All right, so we'll do new. I I don't know how many games I'll be playing. The league name can be default. That's fine. Period. Five minutes. You can't make it lower than five minutes, and it's funny because the default now is three in. Because I was just playing twenty four the other day, and the, the default's three. The All Star Game. Your <laughs> options are East West, or you can do the World versus North America. Everybody loves the World versus North America. Yeah, where's my AHL dynasty? I weirdly kind of wondered that as a as a kid. I was like, yeah, I mean, you gotta have the gotta have the AHL dynasty. All right, best of seven, continuous OT. That's that's all fine. Hero rating. You gotta have the hero rating. It, <laughs> Ice or lone roosters. I don't know if the Ice or lone roosters. They probably exist at this point because the DEL's seen a couple of, like, a couple teams fold and, and go. I know, of course, Ice Baron Berlin is is in there. That's the that's the DEL team. When I think of the when I think of the DEL, everybody welcome to DEL discussion. All right, so what team, what team, what team are we thinking? ECHL Dynasty soon. ECHL, not in this game. N not even, they they did not put the ECHL in. I don't know if the, the WCHL might still exist at this point. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. The juniors also not in this game. That's part of why Sam Gagne and stuff aren't in this game. Oh shit, Eric Stahl, NHL. Yeah, man. This is the, this is the Eric Stahl game. Uh... Yeah, what are we thinking? What 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 team should we run? We'll do a little fantasy draft. I always like to do a fantasy draft. I don't I, I don't know if I'm in the minority for that. A lot of people like to take over a team. Go with the wings. We might. We might go with the wings. Where the wings are the wings are in discussion. Michael Dow Cole. Michael Dow Cole and Nick Ritchie are on the roosters now? Dude, hold on. Before I start this, this was supposed to be a remember some guys stream. Let me bring something up real quick. I'm I'm gonna bring up elite prospects and I'm gonna bring up the the national league in Switzerland. So give me two seconds here. I gotta I the easiest way to find it is through Dominic Cahoon. Cause I know he's over there. So I will I gotta add another another window here. Display capture. Sorry, I'm learning learning how to do this here. I don't know. Cancel. I don't want that. Where's just the window capture? Sorry. I'm very new to this this whole process here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Elite prospects. Great. Thrashers would be a more fitting team. Yeah, we'll go we'll go Thrashers. Hey by the way, I just started watching your channel today. Watch both your Oilers did and thought they were really good. Hey, cool. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. That's awesome. Good old Southeast Division days. That Southeast Division uh, is very weird. It it eventually is going to have the... Uh, it's eventually going to have, like, the Jets in it for a little while. The Capitals are in it. You guys see this? You guys can see this, right? Or, no, I have to select it. Oh, I have to turn on the visibility. There, there. there we go. Okay. So, we'll we'll scroll through this real quick. The the National League in Switzerland. Give me Dominic Cahoon, please. Dominic Cahoon. The National League in Switzerland, now that the KHL there's a lot there and for good reason there are a lot of guys from North America and uh North America and Western Europe that do not want to be in the KHL. Especially since like Slovan Bratislava and Jokerit and uh, Riga, uh, Dinamo Riga closed. So the the National League in Switzerland, which is one of the better, one of the better playing, uh, yeah, ad flashback. Sorry, uh, one of the better playing, the uh, one of the better playing paying European leagues has all sorts of like, oh, that's where they are, guys in it. Like Marcus Sorensen. You may remember him from his time with the Sharks is their leading scorer right now. Dominic Cahoon, Lucas Walmark, uh, Dennis Morgan, who and he's Swiss. I uh Anti Soamela, Suomela, 
uh, Alexei Sorella, who's still technically unsigned by the by the Panthers, have his draft rights. Yeah, Sammy Vatanen. Sammy Sammy Vatanen. Oh, how the mighty have fallen for Sammy Vatanen. He's only 32. I was looking through this. I was looking through this last night. Mark Arcabello, who is going to get talked about in Oilers Part 3, because he becomes the Oilers' second-line center. There's also uh, somebody else weird. Yeah, Gaten Haas, if you remember him. Uh, the, uh, well, I guess we'll put him with Connor McDavid guy, because he's eight foot three. Uh, Tamu Hartikainen, another another old Oiler. Jacob De La Rose, not an old Oiler, but an old yeah, the the old Jacob De La Rose for uh, Robbie Fabry trade between the Blues and between the Blues and uh, Red Wings was wild. Look up Darcy Verot, my favorite Elites prospects page. All right, yeah, sure, we'll do that. You better not be leading me astray. Oh. This is the wildest one, is free, Val Filpula, who is 39 and playing professionally still in Switzerland. Val Filpula, man. Sven Androgetto, Tim Bozon. Anyway, it, if in this goes on for, for pages and pages and pages of guys that you're like, oh, oh, okay, that's that's where they ended up? Yeah, Va, we, we love Val Filpula here. This fat. I love Robbie Fabry, man. I I hope he I hope he keeps it up. Hi, your videos are. Hey, thanks to Cole for hockey. That's that's very nice of you to say. Val is such an. He is really like he was around for. He was around for the very tail end of them being very good, and then stuck around him and Abdul Kader and a little bit of Jonathan Erickson, kick around for like, way longer. Reliving the decade of darkness with the Oilers. Yeah, I, it certainly... <laughs> this next... The part three of the decade of darkness thing is gonna... It, it's truly... Because in part two, they get really, really bad. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, fun time with Mr. Egan. Yeah, uh... <sighs> part two, it's like, oh yeah, they suck because it's time for them to suck. Like, that makes sense. And then... Part, part three, it's like, oh, no, this team is run by idiots at, at every level. Like, their coach doesn't... Their their coach is implementing a system that he probably shouldn't be putting in. The Oilers season is intriguing. It is, really, because it, it... The worst coach ever... Yeah, after Anaheim fired, fired him, it's like, oh... Yeah, I'm not sure... I'm not sure Dallas Eakins is a great coach. I... He should never have implemented the swarm. It doesn't work with, with their, with their with their guys. Like it was not, it was not built for them. But yeah, uh, yeah, the Oilers series is really great for for newer hockey hockey fans. It's very cool to Kane's fans. So post two thousand six, yes, I and that's kind of that's kind of where my sweet spot is because I focus a lot on on what I watched as a kid and like the teams that I was, as I was first getting into hockey, like when I started playing as a kid and stuff like that. But yeah. So funnily enough, Woody got a shorter leash than he can. Yeah. They poor, poor Woodcroft, man. It, it's not his fault. He should have, he should have told the team to shoot. He should have told the team to score more goals and Jack Campbell to not be bad anymore. I had to look up that guy that, that, Darcy Verrat, sure, man. Darcy, born in 1976. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. CHL guy. <laughs> I do like... I do like how he looks. That picture that I posted, I posted it for the stream, like the stream reminder uh, a couple hours ago, and was... AHL, AHL. What?! Oh, okay, okay. The CHL is in, like, the Continental Hockey League or whatever. I was like, no, 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 that's not right. Okay, he's a good... Oh, my gosh! I think this is... I have a feeling that uh, the number of penalty minutes here is why... 500 and... 
Five hundred and eight. Five hundred and eight. Dude. <laughs> Five hundred and eight. Yeah, I. Speaking of the stars, I really like this this year's star stand in forty one games. That's nuts, dude. The KHL just sending him. Yeah, be a pro at seven hundred and twenty six. Just fighting every time he hits the ice. That's like the dude named like uh, Stinky Wiener or whatever in EASHL or whatever that they're sending over the bench and having them fight your guy every time fighting and game misconduct it joe nhl activity absolutely joe nhl activities some guy with like ru18 on the back of his jersey like just absolutely trying to attack people stars have been really bad during this trip yeah i i just love robertson and hints and and those guys i think they're i think they're fun it's an oily's fan group from the decade of darkness I was wondering what you felt was the largest issue with the organization at the time. So, um, I, it's, it's the roster construction has always been, has always been the issue in, in my estimation. I, I think they're, they were a badly built team. I do also think, and a lot of people have pointed this out. If people pointed it out on, on part two, that there was like a pretty definite culture issue where, and I'll mention this in, I'll mention this in episode in part three, that like Ferentz, Ferentz comes out in twenty eighteen, I think it is, and and talks to Elliot Friedman, and Elliot Friedman's like, yeah, what was the deal? And he's like, yeah, you could have put pretty much anybody into the, like you could have given us any system, and they just sucked because nobody cared and everybody hated the team, and he he says. Oh, everybody was calling each other, like, derogatory terms for trying in practice. And my assumption is that, like, it's a bunch of these 20-year-old guys that are calling each other, like, tryhards in practice. It's like, man, this is your job. Like, Taylor Hall and Eber Eberly both got, like, big contract extensions shortly before that. It's... It, the 2000... In the first part, it's they thought the team was better than it was was a big was a big deal was they thought that that they're like oh we lost the we were an eighth place team yeah Mike they really needed I don't I'm always like kind of halfway in between speaking to to you here Mike Mike uh I'm always kind of halfway between if like a disciplinarian coach is a better option or if you want to go with the players coach and they kind of went with the players coach both times because Ralph Kruger was tight with Hall and Egan's like you can you can tell in interviews that everybody except for Neil Yakupov really liked Dallas Egan's and were like sad to see him go would have just hired Mike yeah it <laughs> Mike Keenan renowned uh big old jerk he would have certainly he would have certainly <laughs> gotten them, gotten them going. Because Pat, uh, Pat Quinn, is Pat Quinn, Pat Quinn. Yeah, not Pat Burns. I got those wires crossed in my head a bunch of times. But Pat Quinn was like kind of the jolly old timer, like kind of, like, kind of went with the flow. And he was before those young kids came anyway. Is the most underrated series ever in the NHL. So, um, like playoff series, uh, I, I think, and I'm totally biased. Uh, I think that the 2000, the 2012 series between it's a first round series between the Penguins and Flyers is just c completely insane. They beat the hell out of each other for six games they truly hate each other and i they they really it and not no goalies can make a save because it's flurry in his in his choke era and uh uh brisgalov in his i'm playing for the flyers era and they are just 
it, no goalie can make a save and they're fighting every like 20 seconds of course it's yeah, that 2012 series. It was, it was really, it was really great. It, even, and I, again, I like I said, I'm a Penguins fan. So, I, yeah, Sabres, Canes in 06. That was a, that was a really awesome series. That's, uh, Graham, Pinholes Graham, who is, I've, I'm in his Discord server or whatever. Like, and he shouted me out before. So, shout out to him. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, he makes really, really great, really great stuff. But he made a whole video on just the the 06 Canes and Sabres series. It's really good. It's worth worth checking out. Pinholes is a good. Yeah, he is. He's a seems like a really nice guy. I don't know him personally. Uh, Pinholes G- Discord. Uh, he linked it on his on his page, I think. But it's probably buried in community po- posts or whatever. Yeah, I I do think that Canaan's a little bit past past his prime in 2010. But Eakins. Eakins is he's Eakins man he he banned the he banned the donuts he came in and banned the donuts uh favorite series is Ducks Blackhawks in 2015 so that's that's prime Corey Perry public enemy number one like Corey Perry being being a true menace like and do they have that's it's a good question do they have Kessler at that point in 2015 where the ducks were, the ducks were gathering everybody that that they hate, like Eakins has no prime minister. Oh no, that's honestly don't know who's winning the cup this year. What do you think? Um, uh, the <laughs> Corey Perry before yeah Corey Perry before. Did we we never found out anything about him getting drunk at that at that cookout or whatever? Anyway, uh, yeah, I I don't really I don't know who I think I think it's probably one of the teams out of the West that gets that's one of the that's one of the Cup favorites. I think there's a lot of yeah he got drunk. That's all I know. I think that's I think that's kind of what it what it boils down to. Colorado is a great pick. Uh, it's really tough to bet against that Vegas team. They're really, really good. Um, there's, oh, you know, and they shouldn't have been as good as they have been. The official line, yeah, I, I think he said something stupid that he probably shouldn't have. I, I really hope it's nothing more than that. But it's not like the Blackhawks have earned the benefit of the doubt regarding anything. But. The Connor Brown pull, <laughs> the the Oilers say, "Listen, Connor, we've paid you, we have we've paid you four million dollars, and we're gonna we're gonna send you to go slam into Aiden Hill, and then the the Golden Knights will will be like will send out freaking Logan Thompson, and Logan Thompson will be really good." Florida Panthers do have a really good shot this year. They are very, very good. They're also, and I heard this on on Puck Soup this week. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys are into that, but I was I was listening to Pop, Puck Soup. So down goes Brown and Brian Lambert, and they they had said earlier in the season, oh the Panthers will probably be uh, unstoppable if Matthew Kachuk picks it up. And then Matthew Kachuk started being Matthew Kachuk again. And they are just a fire wagon now. The really good team. And especially I I have a lot of love for I have a lot of love for Bob. You know? The Oilers got mad when I made a parody of their general manager team. Yeah. Uh San Jose <laughs> Yeah, San Jose wins this year. That poor San Jose team. Uh I gotta, I gotta send a little shout out to uh, Michael Grandland, who is doing the, who is doing the somebody's got to score the goals uh, gimmick, where he's trying to lug that that carcass of a team around. Bob's the goat this year. Much love to Bob, dude. I I feel like he signed and got billions and millions and millions of dollars, but I don't. I kind of feel bad for him, you know, because as soon as he, 
as soon as he signed that contract, he was horrible. Like, he had it one decent season and then just blew up. Reminds me of Adam Ernie. Man, <laughs> Adam Ernie, if you guys... Adam Ernie is the owner of some of the worst J Fresh cards I've ever seen in my entire life. He's like a... He's him and Theo Peckham are just like... <laughs> yeah. If I was San Jose, I'd tell Grandland to not score. Yeah. It, Chicago is on a particularly horrible... They're looking for the the Malkin to their Crosby. Or the, the Kane to their Taves, shall we say. Of Giajo. Uh, who would win Dallas Eagles Oilers oh, team with prime... Or, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know... If you watch those Dallas Eakins Oilers teams, you, it, it, which I tried to, I, I watched like a decent amount of highlights. Like I, I, I always watch a decent amount of highlights, but I, you watch the highlights and stuff from those seasons and I, the Oilers are scrambling, it's especially early in 20, 2013, 14. So Eakins' first season when he's trying to put in put in the swarm that which is a whole like the defensive zone they do a lot of double coverage in the defensive zone and yeah i'm a biology student yeah i i went to college to do <laughs> some video stuff like i do so uh yeah early 20s living in edmonton during the year. yeah man i they they tried to implement a a style of a style of zone coverage that was really relied a lot on the wingers being really engaged so normally like a typical box in one defensive zone coverage is you have a a winger high like both your wingers high covering the point both your defensemen low covering the corners and then the center as the puck moves around the net, the center goes and fills in for whatever position that that the other guys are collapsing to. But the swarm, the center, or even two defensemen, when the puck gets dumped in and and the ret- retrieval guy gets it, both defensemen collapse to him, and then the center moves into like behind them as support, and the winger has to come down and guard the front of the net like the like a center normally would. But yeah, it's a, it's a whole. If you want to read more about defensive zone coverage, which I am far and away not an expert in, is uh, what's up, dude? Is uh, Jack Hahn on? You can find him on Twitter. He's a really smart guy. Worked for the the Marlies and some PWHL teams. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, how do you feel about the Carolina as a team when they fix the goalie issues? I think they will be incredible. I do not know why. I I don't know why they haven't made a move for a goalie. I don't know if I I feel like that. And there are goalies out there. Like I don't think the Bruins would probably give them Allmark or anything. But you could get. And we've been saying this. Everybody's been saying this for for years that UC Soros can be had for the right price. Oh, you can get UC Soros. You can get UC Soros. Yeah, the Oilers need Broomball Golden. They're the same way. They're playing Cal Pickard. They Cal Pickard's their guy. Cal Pickard and Stuart Skinner. And they, them, I do think if Carolina gets good goaltending, they are such a well-coached team. They're such a gone for Merz Lakins. You're st- still a Merz Lakins believer. I I do think uh, Merz Lakins worries me because of how Corpus Allo has played this season too where there were a lot there was always those questions about Corpus Allo where it was oh Corpus Allo's in Columbus is he going to be better once he's out of Columbus and the answer was yes with the Kings and a strong no with the uh, 
with the Senators. Kacheka. I do think... Kacheka's still really young, isn't he? Like, he was a... He was a, like 2019 or so pick. Yeah, if more Freddie Anderson. I... Freddie Anderson is a favorite goalie of mine. I think he he played kind of... He was... Yeah, he's 22-23. Yeah, he's... I, I think he is their guy going forward, obviously. And they were obviously... They picked him and almost immediately uh, catapulted Nadelkovic to the sun. Better off getting one of those net covering. That. <laughs> yeah, they, they need a shooter tutor in there where the guys can just come up and dunk it into the corner. I Freddy gets too hurt. Poor Freddy, man. Anti Ranta, I, he... It was wild how he had that that crazy season with with Arizona a few years ago, where he had like a nine thirty five save or something like that. Good, good for Anti Ranta, man. All right, so downfall of the San Jose Sharks. Yeah, um, you uh, give Mark Edward Velasic way too much money, and that's that's the end. You you give tons of money to Mark Edward Velasic. Vlasic. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. So what, uh, I, I think we should go with the played out professional. We are the, we are the played out professional. My first name, as you guys know, is Ben. Benjamin is my real first name. And my last name, Oakley. Don't be afraid to ask questions and stuff about current NHL. It's fun to, it's fun to talk about. Okay. Everybody loves Freddy. Sad he can't stay healthy. Yeah, man. I, it it's very sad because he was when when he and oh New Jersey yeah Akira Schmidt Akira Schmidt named after I think, like Akira I believe from or from uh he's named after like an anime guy like either like Akira from the movie Akira or somebody from like Dragon Ball Z or something but poor Smith but yeah I do think v Vitek Vanacek it, when you have Jack Hughes after a game being like yeah well, I mean we're good when we, when we get saves we're a good team <laughs> you can kind of uh, see see that they're not in a great spot I do think Nico Dawes is pretty he's a pretty young guy I think right like I think he'll eventually eventually be a guy that they can they can build around you know, we are uh, drafting 26th here in this my mother's a diehard sharks fan yeah that's that's a tough time to be lindy might need to go well i mean were they not just saying fire lindy like like two very shortly ago mega blocks model of a of an xbox 360 Man, is that is that like a is that like a Canadian thing? Do you guys have Mega Blocks? Is that? It's just, I live in a Lego. I live in a Lego country here, brother. Iggy, Iggy seems like the obvious choice. I mean, he's a ninety-three overall. He's can't be that old at this point. We're going Iggy. I think that's I think that's a good pick. What's he looking? What's he looking like? Yeah, he's thirty. Yeah, we're do, we're doing Iggy. Sorry, Gino. Who who went first? Nikolai <laughs> Nikolai Happy Bullen. All right. Matt Sundin. <laughs> oh, dude, I live in America. I have tons of Lego, but the Xbox is a must buy. Okay, cool. That's sick. The Bullen Wall. I figured since you were a since you were a Wings fan, you were probably probably an American, but I never know. I. I have led it ever since the Oilers series. Yeah, famous first overall pick. So, what are we thinking? Uh, who's we probably want? Do we want a goalie? Is the question, and the goalies always get sorted upside down. Oh, the Wings fan from Virginia, as strange as that is. Yeah, that is. Hey, I mean, what other caps? I guess probably the closest geographically, but. There's a big guy in the uh, 
in the Penguins like Twitter sphere that's uh, from Virginia originally. But he's a he's a Penguins guy. Dotsuk. Yeah, we got a Chris Back <laughs> Chris Beckford Sue. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Fifty overall. Chris Beckford Sue and Mark Jornard. Uh yeah, I I think we can wait on a goalie. I think we can go with we can go with Dotsuk. Let's not let's not mess around. Dots the the connection of Dotsuk and Aginla. Come on. We got This is the team. <laughs> Toscala and Raycroft. Tosca Toscala, this is the season they acquired Toscala. Where they like this is the man. He will save us. Vesa Toscala will turn us all around. Poor Tomas Vokun. Yeah, let's see if he's still there. Oh, crap. I'm looking at... There's everybody's favorite David McKee. Yeah, dude. Dotsuk and Iggy, man. We're putting it together. Oh, shit. <sighs> Goalies. Uh, what are we sorting by? Why is David Abisher number one? Okay, there we go. Please, please sort by overall. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> he got a lot. The goalie situation is getting grim quickly. I think we are almost, we almost have to, we almost have to pull the trigger on a goalie here. Uh, but man, these are some guys that suck. Yeah, Cam Ward's probably the pick. I'll not mess around with Briz and Tara Minimaki. Yeah, we'll do with Cam. We'll we'll do Cam Ward. That's fun. Mark Savard going in the third round. Man, we missed out on that. Love Mark Savard. All right, so we're back to probably need a defenseman. Uh, Yara Spachek, rest in peace, Pavel Dimitra. Uh, Henrik Talander. <laughs> yeah, we do need a random low overall backup. We need some. <laughs> we need Chris Beckford too. Uh. Dion. Dion's pretty young at this point. This is Flames Dion. I bet he probably has some good potential. We're, we're taking Dion. Let's go with Dion, man. Andy McDonald. Andy McDonald, a guy who was productive up until he evaporated from the NHL. I think he had injury, injury troubles. We got Ryan Whitney. I don't know. I don't know what our thoughts are on Ryan Whitney, but... Moose Jaw Warriors legend. Henrik Sedin to the Yotes. They, those Yotes are picking, man. They, they're they putting together a team. Antoine Vermette, I think, is interesting. Brian Berard. Concussions and back problems. All right, yeah. I I, I was actually interested. <laughs> they now have Marc-Andre Fleury and Henrik Sedin. The classic pairing. That That's like uh, chocolate and peanut butter. And Marc-Andre Marc Fleury and Henrik Sedin. Uh... Let's go with another forward. I'm not taking Sean Avery. I kind of hate Sean Avery. <laughs> I think it's funny when he yells at the people in the bike lanes, but other than that, I also, uh, Alex Semen is also in my, I dislike him for no real apparent reason. Let's go Zach Parise. He's pretty young at this point. I like Zach Parise. Yeah. What are the, what are the Yotes cooking up? We're also following the Yotes. Yuri, Yuri Lettman. How old is he? 80? <laughs> I guess he was really young when they went on this conference, but... Yuri Lettman. Brad Boys. Brad Boys, uh, fresh off his... Is he fresh? No, this is after... This is after the 40-goal season. But he's pretty young. Corey Perry. Corey Perry at this spot. Uh, the the one-two punch, we've got again Ladatsu. Yeah, Matt Cullen in 84 overall. Matt Cullen, I think this is after a 20-goal season for him. So everybody's like, oh, yeah, Matt Cullen has found himself. The worm. But, yeah, I think the worm. Oh, <laughs> Jason Woolley. Yeah, let's pull the trigger on Jason Woolley. Jason Woolley. Mark Recchi. Mark Recchi getting sold at the deadline. I think who would he have been on? at this point because this is so he'd have been I think this is after his Penguins tenure like his third Penguins tenure Justin Williams the Yotes legend 
Matt Cullen was a great two-way sport forward. I like Matt Cullen, man. M Matt Cullen, I, obviously, on those Penguin Cup teams. So I have a lot of love for Matt Cullen. Matt J. Bowmey, sir, to the Rangers. So we got Jason Woolley. Do we pull the trigger on Matt Carl? Matt Carl, gotta be, yeah, he's 22, 90 potential. I, I'm i just putting it out there. Matt Carl. I, I think, what am I saying? I, I've i got the say here. Hojtek, Hojtek Volsky. Now, hold on. Matt Carl might have to wait. They got Hojtek Volsky. Oh, this is tough. They got Corey Perry. Why isn't Corey Perry gone yet? I've lost Matt Carl now. There's Daryl Sador. Dick Tarnstrom, Holik, Pekka. There's Matt Carl. No, oh, Matt Carl. It's Arizona cooking. Nicholas Cronwall. See, Arizona's always one step ahead. Okay, Matt Cullen has sat here for so long to the point where I'm thinking, do we take it? Do we take Matt Cullen? Do we take a very young Jeff Carter? Do we take Hoytek Volsky? What are we thinking? That's the question. Let's go. Let's go, Matt Cullen. It's fun. Nathan Pash. Nathan Pash going to the going to the Oats. Pick Zetterberg and Mike Richards. See, man, it's too late. I can't take I take can't take Zetterberg. And you're you're Mike Richards, another guy. He was on those Flyers teams that were mean to the Penguins back in the day. He was not very nice. And so I have ill will. Paul Stastny to the abs. They're going off, going off real life. That's right. Paul Stastny. Weird because he had that monstrous rookie season and then was just a good player for the rest of his career. He, like, he nearly won the call. Is that Shea Weber? It might be. Let me look. You up here? Yes. That has to be Shea Weber. Yeah, that's a steal. Thanks, Shea Weber. Good call. Good call, Zed. Carlo Koliakovo to the to the Yotes. The Yotes are going to be our biggest rival. They're going to be cro across the country. But we are, we are building up ill will toward them. This is a goalie situation. Oh, okay. Okay, so we could have waited for we are we waited too long to get a good goalie, and we could have waited forever. Then, what's our situation looking like? We got a lot of centers. We got four defensemen. Hmm. I like how it says like the number of guys that I should draft to fill out like a team, not like not to fill out a roster, but just like a team. I'm taking Hoytek Volsky. I like Hoytek Volsky. He had the moves. Palmera. Pick my goat, Boyd Gordon. Boyd Gordon, it will be... Boyd Gordon is a central part of, <laughs> of part three of the Decade of Darkness series. Because he's going to get a lot of money from the Oilers <laughs> when he probably shouldn't. If you guys see Boyd. Boyd, 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 Boyd. The centerman, he should be. I may have just gone blowing past him. Robin Regeer. Robin Re I, I kind of liked Robin Regeer for no real reason. Patrick Steff into the Jackets. I like Nick Antropov. Hmm. Anze Kopitar still available. Yeah, he is. Yeah, let's... The, these people are, are letting us take whoever. They don't, they don't know what we're planning. They don't know that we can... We can see into the future. Even though these guys are all like... If I was doing a... A, like, draft in, in NHL 24 or whatever, the 22-year-old high-potential roster players go extremely early. Let's go Thomas Holmstrom, just because he's... We need a little, we need a little grit, a little sandpaper in our lineup. Gordon what? Yeah, that that 2012 Coyotes team that had like had Mike Smith and a dream 
I I they are very high on my do a video about them list. I I love the Mike Smith in a dream. Tom Holmstrom's the greatest player of all time. Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, he, he is. He's the greatest player of all time. Uh, I've been thinking about Jeff Carter for a long time, but I think we do need another defenseman. Philippe Boucher. Dan Hamhuse. The HF boards people are going to go crazy. Dan Hamhuse. Corey Perry. Corey Perry is still available. Let's see. Is he still there? He is... Ray Whitney, the wizard. I, Ray, it's Ray Whitney, Redeem Verbata, and uh, no centers. Was said to be the funniest person in the locker room. I'm sure he was. That's like those guys, the like aggravators. Like I'm sure uh, Brad. Like they say that about Brad Marchand too. They say that about. Uh, I'd assume like Matt Cook and like they, the guys that are kind of. Like the sandpaper guys, because you kind of have to be funny to be a like an effective jerk. We still need a defenseman. We do still need a defenseman. What are we looking at wing wise? We have two two right wing, two left wing. We need some wings. We need one more defenseman. Hmm. Uh, I think Brendan Witt is not great. Mark Malik, uh, <laughs> Joe Corvo, Kyle McLaren. Kyle McLaren, famously a guy that's asked to do a little bit too much all the time. Vitaly Vishnevsky. Now that's a guy. Patrick Sharp. Gotta go with Merrick Malik. I think Merrick Malik is the pick. Merrick Malik. Merrick Malik, see again, that's some sandpaper in our lineup. Now, Iggy is probably gonna be wearing the C. I think Iggy is our is Iggy is our choice at captain. And of course, Natsuk gets an A, and then Dion and Parise can can probably fight over it. Maybe Jason Woolley can take it. There's Scott Thornton, or is that Sean? I think that's Scott. Keith Kachuk. Keith Kachuk. We could take Keith Kachuk. Scott Thornton. Freddie Modine. Let's go, Keith Kachuk. Malik did have one of the greatest goals ever. Give the A to Matt Cullen. Yeah, yeah, he, he had to wait there for a really long time. He had to... He, he's, he is a good sport. Let's see. Can we get some... Maybe we need some potential guys. Ryan Suter, still available. Braden Coburn. Chris Backman. Uh, Jeff Carter. Zajac. Bernier. Steve Bernier, who... Yeah, this has always perplexed me, because I would always pick him as a... Like, high potential guy. He's... Is he? Oh, he's 22. Man, he's a lot younger than I thought he was. Good for Steve Bernier. Anyway. Let's get some... Let's get a potential guy. Do we... We need wingers. So, let's get... I'm not... I refuse to take Chris Simon. That is such a 2008 haircut. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go Bernier. He's fun. He was in that. Uh, t he was on that 2012 Devils team, didn't he? Do draft a goalie? Yo, you're right. <laughs> the team's skate sharpener is gonna have to hit the net. All right, David Abisher. I, I, David Abisher. Very likely. Patrick Laleem. Mike Smith. Ed Belfour. Norna. Let's go Abisher. I like Abisher. Okay, we'll take Sue, too. We'll take him. We need a third goalie. And we'll take Chris Beckford, Sue. <laughs> is, it, is his name Chris? You could have just you could have just made that up, and I'd have been like, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Chris Beckford, Sue. Do we take Eric Lindros? <laughs> To round out to round out the roster, who are the other teams taking? Because all the good guys just sit here at the top, and it's not like they're old. Okay, we'll take Lindros can play the wing. We're putting Lindros on the wing. Is Nathan Gerby in this game? I don't think quite yet, but that would be we could trade to get yeah Ward, Habisher, Sue, Skate Sharper. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big E. Yeah, he's never been the same since his neck injury. No, not the wrestler. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, Andrew Brunette. Let's see, we'll put him behind the bench. He will coach the boys. Corey Sarich, Mike Commodore. Who do we want as our seventh D? Maybe we should get like a young guy. Owen Nolan. Owen Nolan, get a little uh, Northern Ireland flair here on this team. So we have $9 million in cap space, which for the era is like billions. We have 40 picks. I'm not making all 40 of these picks. I'll pick to 25. Then the the computer can take Chris Beckford Sue again. Yeah, just... Yes, stack potential. I think that's probably, probably the, the move here. So who do we got? Taylor Pyatt and a bunch of guys. Oh, Mike Green. We'll take Mike Green. You know, a little Protestant flair. Yeah, that's right. He, he is Northern Irish, I think, right? Chris Beckford Sue played one game in the NHL. He played 27 minutes and made eight saves and had an 889 save. We, we love Chris Beckford Sue. Chris Beckford Sue is about to. I'm about to, after the Oilers series, you guys are going to see the Chris Beckford Sue five-parter, five-hour-long videos on how... I could probably... I I find him on Instagram or Twitter and just say, Hey, Chris, I have like 1.7 thousand subscribers. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's up there with Patrick Waugh. He's like the, it's like Beckford Sue. So, like, I have a, I, a lot of people say, like, a big three for goalies. They say Brodeur, Hoshik, Beckford Sue, and then sometimes they'll put in Waugh for the, for the fourth. But I, I personally, it's like, if you're doing tiers, it's a tier just for Beckford Sue. Uh, let's go Manny Malhotra. Oh, Samuelson, need more sandpaper. Let's go, let's sort by whatever, anger, meanness. There we go, aggressiveness. Uh, a bunch of guys. Eric Goddard, he's a face-punching guy. Don't really need Berdor, Berdor, Sue owns him. Yeah, that's right. We'd be like, Derek Bogard, rest in peace. Darcy Hordachuk, Andrew Peters. That's, uh, I don't, I don't know. Chevy Shelley. Looked him up. He's a goalie coach for the Mississauga Steel Steelheads. Goddard flying off the bench. Yeah. During the... And I've thought about... SB Nation did... Or Secret Base, I guess, now. Did a whole whole video on that Penguins Islanders bloodbath that they had in 2011. Let's go Goddard. Let's put him on the team. Colin White. Colin White. The other Colin White. I was talking to I was talking to somebody online like on Twitter or something stupid like a long a few a, a while ago and they were like why why did the penguins bring in bring in Colin White he's 45 years old and it, it, we're trying to get younger and it's like no man this <laughs> this is a different Colin White not the not the defenseman we'll take Eric Fair or Dustin Boyd. Is that Dustin Boyd? Yeah, Dustin Boyd. I should sort by hero rating from here on out. Just guys who... Guys who have intangibles. Look at that haircut. Yeah, dude. That's why Dustin Boyd is on the team. Dustin Boyd! Alright, I'm 25 picks in. The, the computer can take the last whatever yeah the last 15 let's do the rest of the draft i don't need to take da, 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 da. it's gonna take like weird i i'm sure that it's gonna take strange fellows fantasy draft is complete all right who who do we get in round 32 okay it only picked a 32 matt molson 
Matt Molson. All right, an actual, like, they don't know this yet, but he will be pretty good, Mike Ricci. Mike Ricci, Shane Morrison, Sean Morrison, I don't know. I, Dustin Bufflin! We were cooking! The computer! Crunchy on the Yotes. George LaRock! Let's go. This computer, picking from my heart, Anton Babchuk on the... All right, Martin LaPointe. And I picked this 25th one. Yeah, that was Dustin Boyd. Okay. So, let's... Uh, let's see how it goes here. We'll sim We'll sim some games. Yeah, Dustin by Fuglian. I... I'll stumble across uh, Pekka in the in round 30. Pekka, the, the Coyotes knew, man. When I'm watching like old highlights of, of the Blackhawks, or the Sharks too, for that matter, I'll, I'll be like, oh, oh yeah, it's uh, Burns at forward, or oh yeah, it's Bufflin at forward for some reason. Uh, Matt Cullen magically became an 86. It's cool. Oh, it's because of the... All right, uh, what are we... Who do we have benched? We got Matt Cullen. Cullen Kopitar Perry, third line, is, is unbelievable. I am all for it. Dan Hamhuis and Mark Malik shutting it down. Uh, Dion Phaneuf and Jason Woolley. <laughs> Jason Woolley hasn't had a new headshot taken since uh, 1903. Uh, Shea Weber, Matt Carl. Yeah, cool. All right. Cam Ward, David Abisher. Yeah. All right. Why is this photo like that? I don't know. Uh, I think Lindros's is weird, too. Oh, okay. No, it's not. It's Parise. Parise has a little tiny head. They had, they had Parise take the photo, like, <laughs> they had him hold the camera at his stomach and take a photo upward. Uh, Steve Bernier. Who do we have scratched? Boyd, Bufflin, Goddard. Oh, it's it's Mike Green, but it's not my. It's the wrong Mike Green photo. Yeah, it's the wrong Mike Green photo. That is not. That's not Mike Green. He's not nearly cool enough. Real Mike Green. He was cool. All right, Mike Green, Easebister. LaPointe, LaRock, Morrison, Matt Molson, Owen Nolan. Okay. It, do we bring somebody else in for Bernier? Or do we ride with Bernier? Martin La, poor Martin LaPointe. Uh, just, you know, Owen Nolan's an 84. He's sitting on the bench. Yeah, because Bernier's an 85. Uh... Yeah, I guess this is just what we're rolling with. There's, I guess, too many good players on this team. Where? I'm not going to play the game, but I'm going to bring up the screen so we get... Oh, we're not salary cap compliant? Why not? How do we become salary cap compliant? Where are my contracts? Okay. Yeah, LaPointe... Uh... LaPointe's actually in three days grace at this point. I guess this is pre this is pre twenty thirteen. So I wonder if I can b bury some salaries in the minors. Who's making Iggy? Okay, Datsu Kachuk. Mark Balik with zero years left on his contract. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's. Is there anybody that isn't any good that I can bury? Mike Ricci. Sorry, man. Oh, I get, you have to release them. Well, let's let's go to minor league. Where's minor league management? There it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Can I? Martin Lapointe. Sorry, buddy. You're going down to the minors. Uh. Mike Green can go down to the minors for now. Um, Goddard and 
We'll send Dustin Boyd down there. And we'll send Buffalo down there. And Richie. I wonder if that buries. I wonder if that buries contracts for us. Yes, it does. Let's go. Wade Redden. Wade Redden situation. All right. So what is our team? We are an 88 overall. We are ready to compete. This team is ready to compete for the cup now. So let's send this game. Let's send some games here against the Capitals. Nothing, nothing. One, nothing. One, one. This is the dead puck era, and we lose in overtime. Bums. Can I see the... Can I see this... The box score? No? Okay. I guess I'll have to look back. Sorry you can't go on LTIR. LTIR. Yeah. Can you show this? Yeah, sure. That's a good idea. I will do that. We'll look around the league. We'll play. All right. So, let's see. I don't know what would be the easiest way. Can I do no. I guess we'll do trade player. I feel like that's the easiest way to look through. Do I have to add a guy first? Or no? I'm missing a button behind my head. No, I'm not. Alright. Um, we'll go to stats then. Uh, not team stats. Player stats. Nice. Alright. So, Anaheim, they are led in points by Brent Seabrook. Try contracts. Yeah, I that might work. Let's look at that. That might be the best way to look through. But I'm not sure I can go to other teams. Yeah, no, I can't go to other teams. That's stupid. But it's normally how I would look in, like, current team reports. Okay. Uh, this will... Okay, we can see the we'll see the captaincy of all the other teams. See what's what's cooking here. How everybody ended up. I didn't even set my captains. I so I guess they, they just are. Yeah, captains Jerome, uh, alternates Dion, alternates Keith. I guess we're saying shove it to Pavel. Uh, Crosby cap <laughs> captain of the Bruins with Tim Conley and Ryan Smith. Then Mike Madonna, Colby Armstrong, and Steve Thomas. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer, Teppo Newman, and John Madden, Steve Sullivan. Let's go to our friends at the Arizona. Uh, oh, I guess they're not Arizona. They're Phoenix. Tell me. Okay. Henrik is their captain. They ended up with Malkin and Justin Williams. And their goalie is hot. They have not let up a goal this season. They have no injuries. They're in jobbing.com arena. Uh, Jonathan Chichu, captain of the Flyers. <laughs> Joe Corbo on Anna. I'm 37 year old Mike Madonna. Uh, Sens. Sens got Gionta. Gionta is their captain. Ovi and Gagne. Solani, Korea, Brendan Morrow. Pavel Dimitra. Vaclav Prospel. And Foot. Yager, captain of the Rangers. It tracks. Andre Mazaros and Kim Johnson. Wow. Glenn Metropolit. <laughs> Matthias Nordstrom and Jason Smith. Is it Jason Smith. Uh, yeah, Paul Korea in New Jersey. Ouch. It is Scott Stevens on Anaheim. Glenn Metropolit. Matthias Nordstrom and Jason Smith, I think, are both captains of their respective teams or at least were captains of their respective teams at this point just building the 99 <laughs> dude glenn metropolit <laughs> he's the heart and soul of this team alexi morozov we're in the we're in the a in minnesota with patrick marlowe and saga koivu joe saka captain of the kings Marion Hosa, captain of the, of the Panthers, with Ed Jovanovski and Shane McKee. Jason Allison, my man. 
captain of the of the Oilers. Jason Allison can cook in this game. He's so good. Marlowe and Koivu is crazy. Yeah. Sergey Fedorov, captain of the Wings. There you go. <laughs> Doug Wade as an alternate is kind of weird. He had 33 points in 8 in 08. Glenn Metropolitan. <laughs> Damon Lankow, captain. With Frolov and Sillinger. Don't they know that Sillinger's not going to be there? Yeah, Fedorov, Fedorov is the captain of the Wings. That's perfect. That's all, all roads laid home. Ooh, I, I like their like made up <laughs> their made up GM names good old Meg Madu Meg Madu's who, who they're hiring to to replace uh, shit what's his name the the Yarmo Yarmo Kekalainen uh, Peter Forsberg Brian Campbell Mike Greer Danny Alfredson Ilya Kovalchuk Scott Hannon yeah dude Meg Madu <laughs> Meg Madu they're bringing her in Brent Tong with Captain Rick Nash, Zdeno Chara, and Ladislav Nagy. Steve Sullivan, Eric Stull. Eric Stull doesn't get the wear to the sea for the team that I am pretty sure. Oh, no. Brenda Moore is still the captain. Yeah, Meg Griffin, GM of Columbus. Uh, yeah, Rick Nash, Chara. Uh, Scott Niedermeyer, Teppo Newman, and John Madden. Mike Mandano, Colby Armstrong, Sid, Dion, Rob Blake, Brian McCabe, Joe Corfo. Okay. Wade Redden, <laughs> capital of the cat, captain of the Capitals. Nick Lidstrom on the Canucks. Uh, Mayor Block. Okay, where's Mayor Block? Yeah, Mayor Block. <laughs> Mayor Block. Yeah, Lidstrom on the Canucks. It, it, it does seem wrong. It seems ethically wrong. Thomas Caberle. Thomas Caberle on the on the Leafs with JP Dumont and he's a mere block. Uh soup <laughs> Thomas Sob soup it is. What the... <laughs> He <laughs> Marion Gabrick, Luba Vasnovsky, and Matthew Snyder. <laughs> Nick Peerless. Yeah, he is not a single peer. John Schuss. Chris Pronger back with the Blues. With Zetterberg and Marcus Naslin. And the Sharks with Justin Pre... Danny Heatley, captain of the Sharks. Now, well, that's gonna... Some Sharks people are not gonna be happy with that. Brandon Shanahan, Andy McDonald. And then, of course, Adrian Chong. Adrian Chong, our arch rival... In, in Arizona, Adrian Chong with Henrik Sedin of Genny Morgan, Justin Williams. All right, let's let's cook a couple games here before we before we close out for the night. But yeah, Danny all he, he is he's fucking all star. Uh, yeah, legendary GM Adrian Chong. Adrian Chong's going in as a builder. <laughs> I heard. Uh, let's go. Oh. Okay. Malhotra. Malhotra and Kachuk brought us back, I think. Or is that... Yeah, Malhotra and Kachuk brought us back. I don't think they show us who won it in overtime. Yes, they snubbed my man Mirror Block. <laughs> Let's see. If In my... In my mail. Is it in my mail? The Unfinuff's on a hot streak. We're going to take the loser point all the way. League News trade summary. Oh, well, Ben Walter was traded for Kyle Wanvig. Mere block couldn't draft the same way Adrian Chong could. Yeah, we watched Adrian Chong cook up a truly masterful team. Current streaks, recent signings, monthly fine. I do not care about my monthly financial situation, man. Come on. Come on. All right. Zim, we're down. <laughs> Jerome again, like, on a game misconduct. He's getting pissed. He can't take this team's performance any longer. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to make a change in the lineup here. I keep trying to hit the right bumper to file through the things, and it brings up my mail. All right. So, 
let's let's see who's doing well. Play stats. Okay, of course we got Dion. And not a lot of anybody else doing well. Maybe Hoytek needs to ride the ride the pine for a little bit. The 0 and 3 cents. Yeah, he got pissed off at the 0 and 3 cents immediately. Hey, I can't stay long. Love the vids, go thrashers. Hey man, thanks for thanks for stopping in. It's it's cool to Cool that any of you guys decided to tune in tonight. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are here. It's been a lot of fun. Let's uh let's give a let's put Wolski on the pond. What do we how do I scratch this man? Because it's not easy to replace like it's not like now where you can like easily scratch and replace. Do best lines. Did it put Wolski back in? Oh, okay, completely. All right, yeah, we'll, we're going to let the coach have a little... Yeah, we're part of the two-goal club, that's right. We're going to we're gonna let the coach uh, have a little leeway here. Perry moving down to the fourth line. Wolski moving up, seeing if we can get him going. Owen Nolan, Kachuk, Lindros. Now, what's Lindros done this season? Uh, nothing. Squat. Okay. We got Lindros and Kachuk. That should be... That should be the hard-nosed squad. One and one. Ugh. Ugh. We're gonna have to fire the coach. <laughs> this is... This shouldn't be... This shouldn't be like this. Dotsuk's out with a sore foot. Let's go! Oh, wait. No, we... <laughs> He's been staring 80 overall after scoring five points. Yeah, uh... The, uh, rating team wasn't exactly on their A game. You're right! You, you're right! Put Beckford Sue in net. Now, what have we gotten from Cam Ward? He's played five games. He's let in 14 goals, and he has an... <laughs> 856 save. Holy crap. And also, wasn't any good the last two years before this. Cam Ward, a uh, famously kind of overrated goalie. I I feel bad saying that because a lot of people really like Cam Ward. All right, we're going to scratch Abisher. And we're going to put in Beckford Sue. <laughs> yeah. All right. Chris Beckford Sue is in. He's taken on the 13th place Flyers. Only two teams are worse than them, and only one not us team <laughs> is worse than them. Okay. 1-1. One, one. You see, also the shot engine, there's like 20 shots a game. Where's... So what did... CBT! CBT! He has a picture! <laughs> they got this man a picture! Alright, so CBT let in 3 on 22. But, he was better than Cam Ward. We're gonna give CBT another game. We're gonna give him one more game and see if he can right the ship. Can I buy some upgrades? No, I cannot. The, the manager is hovering between <laughs> hopeful and skeptical. We might have to make a trade. All right. CBT, CBT, CBT. Damn, dude. <laughs> NYR total shots 19. Everybody in the league shooting 35%. Ah, oh, dude. All right. Let's... Yeah, CBT was so close. I think he just needs a little bit more time. Let's, uh... All right, listen. Chris, 
just for a little while, we're going to go with David Abisher. He hasn't played at all. Or no, he's played... Yeah, no, he hasn't played since 2004. Oh, that's in the playoffs. He hasn't played at all this season. He hasn't had a save percentage over nine since... Since then. With the shot scan. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it is kind of... We, we got the dead puck simulator over here. But there's still, like, the scoring engine is still high. So, I wonder... Let's see who's playing well this season. Ilya Kovalchuk, lights out. I guess the scoring engine is not that high. Four, 14 points and trade ward if Ab gets the dub. Yeah, I, I say we do it. I I will make that promise to you. That if Abisher gets it done, we're going to shoot Cam Ward and his son. And we're going to get somebody cool. Now, who's leading the league in save percentage? Mark Andre Fleury, my twenty-two-year-old Mark Andre Fleury is a nine-thirty goalie. But then, man, Fleury at nine-thirty, Vokun at nine-one, and the next best starter is Mark Denis at eight ninety-nine. Whew! Would be interesting to do a video on the threat. I've thought about Thrashers from two thousand seven oh eight to two thousand ten eleven. I've thought about and. I don't know if you guys would be interested in this, but I, I think it would be fun to do just the entire, the the whole Thrashers. Like, from front to back, from when they were conceived in the 90s until until they gave up the ghost and became the Jets. But, yeah, I, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be a cool series. Abisher, 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 yes, baby, let's go! Let's go! David Abisher, who got a game misconduct? Shea Weber! <laughs> I love Atlanta so much. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to do. Just, like, track the whole thing. <laughs> reach reach out to Ray Ferraro. Ray, listen. Thrasher's down for win a cup after this historical move. To, yeah. Yeah, I, I... These Thrasher's, these Thrasher's here... My, my thrashers led by cbt be interested in 08 fantasy draft and how yeah yeah, yeah. I, i'll do a <laughs> i'll i'll do like uh like graham does and and do a a walkthrough of how cbt saved the team no but david abisher's our goalie one which means cam ward sorry buddy I, you can't find trades in this game Yeah, see, CBT is the guy. Yeah, I I say we put we're, well, we're gonna put CBT in against the Leafs to give Abisher a break because Abisher Abisher has shown us that he can that he can do it. But okay, where's my goalies now? Does anybody need a goalie worse than us? How do I? Okay, there we go. It looks like the Capitals do. Or is this the Capitals? I can't see. I put my head in the way. I think it's... Yeah, it's the Capitals. Now. What do the Capitals have? Uh, oh, of course they have Vladimir Malikov. Let's sort this. Can I sort? Mark Savard. Alex Kodalik. Wade Redden. Alex Tanga. How much is Mark? Mark Savard's too expensive. If we can get a one-for-one one, Alex Cotillie, Cam Ward. This is CBT's team. <laughs> this is CBT and Abisher the rest of the way. What's hot in the ice? The trade is one-for-one. One. Oh, sorry. Ward for Tanga. It's too late. I pulled the trigger. The trade is one for one. Cam Ward for fictional Alice Coda Lake that's way better than the real one. It's CBT's world. That's right. I'm going to do some best lines. I don't like messing with the lines in this game. Abisher, Beckford, Sue. Oh, so we're going with CBT against the Leafs. That was the that was the call. <laughs> Bevin should have vetoed. Yeah, well, he doesn't know. He doesn't understand that CBT is the man. 
Let me can handle CBT. Beckford Sue. Beckford Sue. It rings out throughout Phillips Arena. They forget who the Hawks are. They say Dominic Wil- Wilkins who? This is Chris Beckford Sue's city. CBT. CBT. But we're cooking. We are cooking. All right. CBT. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. I can't even tell if CBT was in that. All right. So we're going to do like a, we're going to do a goaltender by committee with CBT and, uh, with CBT and Abisher. Ab's going to get it. This one. All right. Peace out. We get, we are the loser point team, man. We lose in overtime so often. <laughs> we lo- we love CBT. CBT is the guy. We have moved in to fourteenth in the conference. We are right on the. We've lost in overtime four times. We're two and nine. The Preds team is pretty crazy though. Yeah, is that the? I forget who was on there. Here we go, Canadians. Uh, this is the game. We found ourselves at 20 total shots, 5 goals. Kachuk scored. Rolston scored. Rolston scored. Dotsuk, Perry. Coda Lake, baby. He's here. He has arrived. <laughs> we are... We're cooking. Yeah, a certain team on an island that I like. Yeah, that they they can lose in overtime. Pat, if we had Patrick Waugh behind the bench, could you imagine what wisdom he would bestow to CBT? Now, that's the question. Here we go. Uh, Ab's getting another start in a row. Let's see if he can pull it off. Let's go. Ab is on fire. Something, something, balls on the table. That's right, yeah. Shea Weber on fire. Kachuk on fire. Pulling CBT with 18 minutes left down down one in the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> CBT, CBT is helping Abisher. He's, he's behind him. He's giving him the, like, the, the boxing... The boxing coach massage saying, listen. <laughs> I- Iggy's cold. Iggy's ice cold. What's he done this season? 4.6 games. Okay. Keith and Chuck's been on a bit of a heater. What's what's up with him? Why is he only... Why is he doesn't... These aren't... This... Oh, the playoffs. Damn. He's five goals. Oh, I was looking at Iggy's playoff stats. That's why I couldn't. 8 points, 13 games. See, we're going to need more from Iggy. What about Abisher? I, they show me goal, saves and goals against first. It's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, cr- I'll crank out that calculation real quick. A nine, 92 save percentage David Abisher in the freaking playoffs. Damn. Oh, my gosh. He's a 90. Okay, that's fine. Yes, CBT career recap. Like like you said, he is the... He's still in the sport somewhere. So, I don't know. You'd be shocked that, like, guys that are, like, kind of obscure, like... I, when I was, I had like an internship in college where I, I wrote for this, this magazine called BBM Sports for a little while. And one of the stories I wrote, I just started like randomly reaching out to, uh, to college players. And the one guy, Tor Linden from, from RPI, like got back to me and did like an interview and like wrote about how RPI had a season canceled and stuff. But that was cool. Cool guy. I still follow him. He's a good player in the ECHL now. But anyway, 
Let's go with, here we go, Ab. Ah, the real, col the final minute collapse is going to kill us. All right. GM Oakley, very upset. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I guess. <laughs> From the Atlanta Post. Obscure players who may have never played that many games. The the one game from my friend CBT. We have already exceeded Chris Beckford Sue. Yeah, the media is being very unfair. They're they're portraying me very poorly. What they don't understand is that how could they have expected me to have drafted like the Coyotes? Now, if I go into these team standings and see that the Coyotes are like number one in the West. Okay, they're just, oh, jeez, they're 8-3-1. and one. They are good. They're really good. That is true. The great players make awful coaches, and awful players make great coaches. That That's, like, 99% of the time true. Yeah, look at Wayne in Arizona. Like, the moment Dave Tippett took over, they got really good. And, I mean, that's roster... That's roster makeup too, but got another win. We're kind of cooking these days. Iggy's cold streak came to an end. That's nice. Let's put. Oh, that was CBT. Big dub for CBT. Second career win. Save percentage right around eight fifty. He's a bad goalie in the eighties. Adrian Chong. <laughs> That's right. Adrian Chong knows roster makeup. Where's uh, uh, Mir Stinky or whatever the guy's name was? I forget. What's the team reports looking like these days? <laughs> Hubert Yao. Jim Dick. Jim Dick. Rangers legend Jim Dick. Mir Block. Mir Block, yes. He was for the uh, the Flames. Mir Block. How are the Flames doing? Overall record 6 8 and 2. See, Mir, Mir couldn't. Mir's riding on Teppo. He's got a defensive forward, a couple good defensemen. Where's that other guy? There's somebody else. Megmadu. Yeah. Yeah, Megmadu only plays on the road. Having some trouble selling out Nationwide Arena. We're right there. We're right there. What are we doing stats-wise? We're going to ride the loser point to the playoffs. That's right. We're going to do it. We are 5-7-4. Five, five, and four. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's, that's not good. Jeez. Uh, all right, is Ab in? Yeah, Ab's in. Maybe we should have had CBT in there. All right. They they're getting back at us for trading Cam Ward. That was that was just them sending a message. In sixteen games is such a vile record. Yeah, they're not. It's not. Things aren't. <laughs> Things aren't all rosy here in Atlanta. Uh, we're doing best lines again. Now, what's going on with this top line? Are they... Yo. Okay, let's switch Dotsuk and Lindros and see what we can do. Yeah, we're... Uh, not very good. <laughs> What's the power play look like? Reasonable. That's fine. Right. It's kind of weird how we're running two defensemen, but I think that's... I think everybody's doing that. These, this Florida team has just been beating the hell out of us this season. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> 
dude. Hosa and Jovanovski score in the final five minutes and, and blow up. <sighs> Jeez. Jeez. All right. Oh my gosh, it happened again. Dude. This time, Freddie Modine, and I think it's Eric Stahl. What? What have we done? What have we done? All right, I'll play this 20th game, and then then we'll probably call it quits here for the night. But and we'll come back. We'll do this again. <laughs> yeah, dude, the third period is killing us. All right, I think I think that'll probably do it. We'll come back. We'll do this again very soon. I'll probably do it again after the after the next video is done. We'll probably I'll see if I can do like a live stream. Like I'll do a video and a live stream and a video and a live stream because this is it's fun to hang out with you guys. I'm glad you guys all all came out, came hung around. So um, it's really it's it's very cool. I'm very thankful to to have you guys care about CBT CBT. I'm very thankful to have you guys come around and care about uh, the stuff I make and silly streams. Yeah, expect a CBT jersey. I will, trust me, I will be looking into my man, Chris Beckford, too. CBT, CBT, CBT. Thank you guys for coming out. This was awesome. Thanks for, thanks for hanging. I will, we'll do this again soon. I, this was a lot of fun and I'm excited to, excited to hang. Thanks guys. Have a, have a great night. If you're West Coast, have a great evening, but yeah. Yeah. April Fool's video for CBT. That's a good idea. I'll, 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 I'll keep that in my mind. Thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, Oilers video will be out in a week or two or so, but yeah. Peace guys. Thank you.